Okay, so this is question six of the 2019 paper two. So construct the parallelogram PQRS where PQ equals nine centimeters, PS equals five centimeters, and SPQ equals 65 degrees. Show all your construction line arcs and labels clearly. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure out PQ. Now we have P here, so we need nine centimeters now. I can't find my ruler, so this is only eight centimeters long. So I'm going to mark in eight centimeters and then measure an extra centimeter. But if you have your ruler, just go straight ahead and mark in your nine centimeters. Now, please make sure you do this accurately. Take your time and measure correctly. So there is nine centimeters and that is my Q and that's nine centimeters. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to go to measuring our angle, SPQ. So that's the angle here at P. So it's 50, 65 degrees. So you're going to put your protractor down. Make sure the X is on P. Now, see where the line, this line goes. And look to see where is the zero. Is it on the inner track or the outer track? In this case, it's on the inner track. So I'm going to go to 65 on my inner track, which is there okay so then I'm going to draw just a line straight up from there and you're better to use pencils for this in case you make a mistake so I'm just going to draw a line straight up now they want you to show your construction lines and stuff so you're going to um so yeah, you're going to make sure you leave all your markings. Okay, the next thing to do then is you want the line PS, which is five centimeters long. So again, get your ruler. You're going to go from P, you get your compass. And on your compass, you measure five centimeters. So do it along your do it along your ruler, measure five centimeters. Okay, so that's five centimeters. So have it open at five centimeters, then put your compass at S and draw an arc. And wherever the arc cuts your line, now it's slightly below where I have the first mark, that is your S. Okay? So now um, you're going to get two, a ruler or um, two of these, but as long as you've one with a right angle and one with straight edge. So you're going to make a right angle to that and you're going to put it through that S or even just before, it doesn't really matter. But then you bring a second triangle the second set square slide it along that till you get to the s because you want to get parallel line to p this is how you guarantee it's parallel and draw a line and do it really long so just keep going now there's two ways you can do this at this point you can either measure a line nine centimeters long or again you can get your compass and open it to the same length as your bottom line, which should be nine centimeters. And from your S, draw an arc. And where it meets, that is your PQR is what we're missing. That's your R. And then simply connect your R to your Q And that's how you do a parallelogram. Okay, the main thing is to remember when you get to this bit here to have your right angle going up and do slightly before the S because they want to see all your construction lines and to bring this, the right angle against it so that you're getting a perfect parallel line to this line. Okay. Now the next bit is find the area of the parallelogram PQRS and give your answer correct to two decimal places. 
So to find the area, you're going to use AB sine C because you have the angle, which is 65 degrees. And um, you'll find that in your formula tables. So A is nine, B is five, and C, capital C here, is 65 degrees. So just substitute that in. Use brackets, nine by five by 65 by the sine 65 and you get 40.7838542. Round that up, it says to two decimal places and your answer is 40.78. Now, part B. In the diagram, zero is the center of the circle S, or rather O is the center of the circle S, and they want you to find the value of that and beta, so alpha and beta. Now you have two beta here, but you want to know what beta is. Hang on until we get this in focus. Between dogs and everything else. So the first thing you know about the triangle is that the triangle WYO, so there it is there, WYO, is an equilateral triangle because this side here and this side here, they're both the radius, so they're the same length. So that means they're equal. And when you have an equilateral triangle, then the angles at the base are the same. Okay, so it's an equilateral triangle. So the angles at the base are the same. So 52 degrees is equal to alpha. So alpha is 52 degrees. Okay, so that's the first thing to do with this. Now, next, you want to find out what beta is. So what we're going to do next is we're going to find out what this angle is. So an angle, all the three angles in a triangle add up to 180. So what you do is you take your 180, take away the two base angles, your 52 and your 52, you're left with 76. So the angle at the top of WYO is 76 degrees. So that's that angle here is 76 degrees. Now we also know that these two angles together make 180. So again, using our 180, we're going to subtract your 76 degrees from the 180 to get that angle there. Okay, so 180 minus your 76, and it tells you that that angle there is 104. Now, you know, again, this is an equilateral triangle here, Hang on, let me show you what I'm pointing to. This is an equilateral triangle here because this line and this line are the radius. So that means this angle and this angle will be the same. So if you know that angle, you can take it away from 180 and whatever answer you get, divide it in two for these two angles here. So we have our 180, take away the 104 and you get 76. Divide that in two and you get 38. So you know that two beta, this one here, is 38. So to find out what beta is, simply divide 38 by two, and you find out that beta is 19. So you have your alpha is 22, and your beta is 19.